Welcome to uh, The Road Less Traveled. I am sitting uh, in the Magnus Tree Farm uh, in Sherwood, Oregon, uh, which is part of the World Forestry uh, Foundation or organization. Uh, but uh, if I'm silent, you can hear it rain. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, it's just pouring, and I am... There we go. I am completely dry. Uh, of course, I've got my fantastic marmot jacket, um, which is uh, keeps me very dry, but it's dry on the outside as well because these trees are so big, uh, not a single drop is hitting the ground around them. Um, but uh, it's boring. Um, anyway, but some of you might know that I recently found myself, uh, unexpectedly found myself, uh, unemployed, uh, officially unemployed, at least for the first time in my life since maybe I was 10, uh, when I got my first paper out, but, um, it's a scary thing. <laughs> Some of you go, man, I can relate to that. Um, it's kind of frightening. Uh, you find, um, You find uh, you get these freak out sessions, right? Uh, some of you might know what I'm talking about. Whatever trial you're going through or you've been through, and you just you feel like you're losing control and, and you freak out. <laughs> I've done it a few times, and uh, but uh, fear is a, a funny thing. Um, the other thing I, I realize is that these times uh, of our lives, these trials that we face. Um, they usually are followed by the best times in our lives. It's like life's like a roller coaster, you know, you're, uh, the greatest highs, the greatest heights take, or lows rather, <laughs> uh, take you to the greatest heights. You know, the, the farther you fall, uh, the higher you climb uh, on the other side. And that's kind of the way these situations are. And I look back at my life and every major uh, uh, moment of victory was uh, preceded usually by an incredible trial. Um, so here I am, <laughs> afraid, and an incredible trial. And, uh, you know, speaking of roller coasters, my son Jesse and I, uh, some of you might know, we did a surprise kind of Father's Day. Hey, Jesse, let's get in a pickup truck threw the camping gear in, uh, and we headed out on the road to go either camping or something. We ended up at Silverwood, uh, the theme park in Idaho, um, uh, around Coeur d'Alene. And uh, they have this drop tower thing that's, you know, it's, it's a tree. Um, uh, and uh, they take you to the top in this chair where you're strapped in, and uh, there's a little click sound, and... Uh, you're already afraid. You can't breathe at this moment. And uh, I've done it a couple of times. We didn't do it at Silverwood because I hate them. Uh, and I don't want to do them anymore. But I, when I was a youth pastor, we did it uh, at Magic Mountain, which was even bigger. Uh, I did it several times uh, because as a youth pastor, you got to do it all. Um, but anyway, um, they take you to the top. And, and when that click uh, engages, you think, oh, crap. <laughs> Here it comes. And there is this moment where you look around and you're thinking, why in the world uh, am I doing this? And then it releases. And you begin to fall. And every, <laughs> for me, uh, I'm telling you, uh, you grab on to anything and everything that will stop you from that fall. <laughs> you're, gra you're grasping at everything. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like that right now. <laughs> I feel like that a lot uh, these days. And some of you can relate. You've lost your job. Uh, maybe you found out you had cancer. Someone you love had cancer or something else. Whatever the tragedy was. Or the trial. <laughs> and you find yourself grasping at things. And sometimes I think we go back to those things that are most familiar. You know, I'm reading this book uh, a friend, a good friend of mine gave me, Mr. Galen, right? Uh, and it is called The Naked Now. 
And uh, I'm sure you're thinking, I, I'm so glad that it's just a book and it's not a reality <laughs> in this video. It's, uh, it's really good. It's by Richard Rohr. But uh, I just want to read one paragraph because it's awesome. I'm sitting under this tree reading and I'm thinking, i got to share this. So, but it says this, if you surrender to the fear of uncertainty, right? Life can become a set of insurance policies. Your, your short time on this earth becomes small and self-protective. A kind of circling of the wagons around what you can be sure of and what you think you can control. <laughs> Even God. Uh, it provides you with the illusion that you're in the driver's seat, navigating on, on safe, small roads, and usually in a single predetermined direction that can take you only where you've already been. Man. <laughs> what a good what a good lesson, you know. Um I don't know what you where you're at, um, but I certainly find myself at uh two roads diverged. <laughs> and uh you know, it's really easy to take the one that everyone's taking or the one that's most familiar. It's very, very scary to step down and walk down the one that is less traveled. But I have a feeling, like Frost, that in the end, it will make all the difference. And so I really would love for you to pray for me that I would find truth uh, in who I am and who I am, am to be. And you know, the funny thing is I truly believe I am, I am created to teach. Um, and I may or may not get paid for it, but that is my employment, or should be. And uh, I may have to work somewhere else or do, you know, things to pay the bills, but, uh, you know, I, I want to teach. I want to learn. Um, but uh, anyway, fear is funny. And I, I think that the, the strength or the opportunity that I have right now, and maybe if you're in the same situation you have, is, is uh, to step just beyond the, the fear. Because I think just on the other side of the fear is my potential. Um, isn't that interesting? Uh, and if you do not cross the line of that thing that you are afraid of, you may never reach the potential that you are made for, or that you are made of. So anyway, here I am, on the road less traveled. I'm going to go back to reading my book. Have a great day, and get out there. <laughs>